So Janelle, you were asking about how to get the most out of a guest blog post or maybe how to get a little bit more out of a guest blog post? Yes. Um, the client has submitted a sponsored post for a website. And uh, the only link that they have available to them is a sponsored link brought to you by. So I haven't looked into that. I don't know like how much traffic they're getting. We do have a UTM code set up for that. So I, I believe that there is some stuff coming through. Um, but they really wanted to get more out of this sponsored post and they were looking to post it on their own website. But because I was afraid of duplicating content, I, I didn't want to do that. I advised them to create like a LinkedIn post and share that and say how you know excited that they were that they did this post and this organization is like well known in the community, yada yada. Um, and then with a link to the post, because then they can always, the user can always go back either to, uh, my client site or, you know, via that LinkedIn post or the link within the website. Um, but, um, but yeah, so that's what I advise them. Um, I don't want to, if they really are pushing to even just keep, put the same content on their website, is there a way that we could, uh, set it, like set the canonical link so that they aren't impacting the other post or because they're on two different sites and they don't have control over the uh, um, their partner site. I just didn't didn't know what to advise because even though I told them just to create a social post, they were still pushing for more. So I, I this is a super question. And the first step to questions like this is to review Google's link spam guidelines, okay. right? Because, because if it's a sponsored post, I'd put it in a different category than a guest post. Okay. So a guest post is something that I, I categorize it as. I wrote an article as a guest contributor to another website. And that there was no money passing through hands. But when money passes through hands, it becomes a sponsored post. And that becomes a paid link. And so there are very strict guidelines with Google. So you got to review those. Basically, you have to declare that it's sponsored and it sounds like they have, but you should also add a sponsored or no follow attribute to the link, um, which means the link does not pass link juice to the client. Oh, can you, can I share with you the post link and can you, would we be able yeah, to- So actually we, we could do this without that. You can simply go to the link Okay. And then right click on it, inspect. Yep. And then look for REL in the in the parameters of the HTML for the link. Um, I don't see it. I can share my screen if that's helpful. Okay. Um, Go ahead. All right. Let me just just show the code. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, is it large enough to see? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's, it's not no followed. Okay. Nor is it uh, REL equals sponsored. So, yeah. so this does not, uh, the following statement does not mean to instill panic. It should not, but le by Google's rules, it should be declared as sponsored or no followed by this website that is linking to you. Now, what's going to happen if if Google feels this is in violation? They will potentially penalize not only the source of the link but the client's site. But most more likely to do these days is Google will ignore the link. Just ignore the value of the link as far as SEO goes. Okay. But humans can still follow the link. Yeah. Right, it's we're building links for Google, but we're also building them for humans. And so this is basically what Google will do is say, hey, you know what? There's the word sponsored, it's brought to you by, it's sponsored as a class, like Google can figure this out that this is a sponsored link. And so probably ignoring it as far as link authority passed. Okay. Which doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, it just it means, just that, means people... that it's not doing the SEO benefit of a link. Got it. Which it shouldn't. Because the fact is, is that you paid for it. And so it's not a genuine editorial link as an expert. 
right? So, so re it's worth reviewing that. Now, your instinct is right about republishing it on your own website, right? Number one, again, Google is just going to ignore it on your website. It's already published on their websites. So it's not going to really do anybody any good to put it on your own website. I mean, look, unless, you want, unless you want through. a different audience to see it, that's not going to see it on right. the other website. So the other the other side of it is you're assuming the way people consume your blog is from about 10 years ago when people um, go to your website and read through your blog. True. That's not how people consume blogs nowadays. People consume blogs by Googling something or going to social media, finding it and clicking into your blog link. That's how people consume blogs. So putting it on your own blog is is playing from a 10 year old playbook because it's not like your customers have time to go through your website and say, I'm going to take the afternoon and read all the blog posts from this customer, right? Like it, yeah, it do that anymore. Yeah, like and even and even so, the posts, the reader. other posts, the sponsor posts, would probably rank higher because it, the authority right. of the other website. Right? Would it would it even rank? It, it well, so Google would probably just ignore it, and so it okay. wouldn't even be in the index. Okay. So yes, someone walking through the website might come up to it and might read it. But then it's just self-promotional and what value is it? So it's probably better for someone to encounter on the other website and read it, right? Yeah. So so they're um, saying that you're, if, if sometimes clients are really, really silly about this. And so like I, I, no matter how many times I tell a client, don't republish a press release on your own damn site. Right. They got to do it. Like, first of all, what do your clients care about? Like your customers care about reading through your press releases? No. Yeah. Second of all, you know, the duplicate content basically is going to get ignored. Um, but when they do, there are a couple of solutions. You can either add a no index tag to it. And you can do that if you're using Yoast on the website and going into individual posts and saying yeah. advanced, no index. You could, you could also using Yoast go in and change the canonical tag to say, hey, the original version of this article is on that website. Right? Which does the same thing. No index it, that will consequently no index it. Helping Google, because we don't want to. If, if if Google starts to decide on our site which content it doesn't want to index, we kind of don't want that. We want to tell Google, don't bother to index this, mm -hmm. right? With by sending canonical to the other site or no index to the on our site. So that way Google trusts our site and is not making these decisions about us. Yeah. Right. Um also Google, we only get so much of your time every day or in every week or every month. We don't want wasting your time on this page, which we know you don't want to index anywhere. Spend your time in other places of our website. So it's kind of a crawl budget issue. Um, so if they're adamant and they're like, we got to publish it. Okay, at least help them out by no indexing it. Maybe a canonical tag to the original place, but I think a no index is probably appropriate. And then people can see it, they'll be happy. It won't hurt them despite their own efforts. But if we really want to promote it, this is where we tap into Stephanie's brain because this is where social media is so important, right? And in fact, part of the processes of Curious Ants is publish the blog post and then promote the blog post. So if you go into the promote your blog post process of Curious Ants, there's a bunch of places where you can promote the blog posts on third-party websites. Maybe there is another way, maybe there's another website that you could write for, write a, a you know, follow-up blog post and link to the original blog post, right? Um, there's all kinds of things to do, but there's a bunch listed there. But and this is where I want to hear Stephanie's thoughts. Posting on social media is not what David does when he, he does this. David vomits onto social media. That is not a social media strategy, right? You want to do real social media, 
you figure out your audience, you develop that audience on that network, you, fig you figure out which, where, which network your audience is on, you develop that audience. You don't just keep pushing stuff about yourself, you interact. And, but where, where, how would you begin this solution, Stephanie, if, if you were going to promote a blog post like this? So what I've done in the past, both for myself and for clients, is I've put a post up on my website that says, uh, now I've never, I've not done sponsored. So this might, the David, you can weigh in on if this would be different for a sponsored link. But when I've done guest posts or whatever, I have put a post up on my website that says, um, or the client's website that says, you know, we were recently featured in whatever blog post. Here's a brief synopsis of what that post was about. Read the full post here and link to that post. And then put the link to my website or the client's website in the social media. So that's driving traffic to my site or to the client's site, but still pushing people to that sponsored or guest post. So we and, gotta be careful about reciprocal linking there. Okay. Because if they're linking to us and then we link back to them, we've traded links. Ah. Uh, and that's against Google's guidelines. Gotcha. So if that's the case and we have a link coming into us, then I might no follow the link to them. Okay. And that, so you can add the no follow parameter in the link. And then I, um, I'll, I've done that several times. Um, there are legitimate ways to have reciprocal links, but this might be, you know, we, reciprocal linking is against Google's explicit link gut building guidelines. And so we don't want to have to explain intent to an algorithm. Gotcha. I didn't mean to game you, Google. This is not a traded link. This is not some nefarious back corner shake hand link building scheme. This is me trying to help promote you. But that's an algorithm making that decision. So explaining right. intent to that algorithm is tough. So if you're going to link, do that. No follow the link or no index the page. Okay. Which has a similar effect. Okay. So, so let me just recap this. So if we do Stephanie's suggestion and we link back to the sponsored post, just make that a no follow link and that mm -hmm. should take care of the reciprocal issue. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that you can get away with not having to no index the post on your site because it's a synopsis. Okay. Right. Um, but, you know, developing that social media connection is the important thing, right? So does this client have an active social media presence anywhere, Janelle? Um, I mean, they've got LinkedIn oh. profiles, but I don't know how, how engaged they are with the community. I don't know if they found a community where they're posting and commenting on posts. Like, you know, I found a photography um, Facebook group that I'm like interacting with on their posts, just providing advice. So I'm not selling. I'm just right. providing, you know, my experience and, you know, uh, that kind right. of stuff. So um, I'm trying to become like a, an authority figure right. on that, on that stuff. So um, this kind of feels, I mean, this is definitely, they're looking just to push messaging out. Um, so, I mean, if they were to become uh, a, a more um, authoritative figure in, in a group, that would, it seems to me that that would be a better marketing effort yeah. for them yeah. rather than this, this whole process. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as with, you know, I, I like to make the analogy that social media is is just like in person networking? Yeah, you know, yeah. if you go into a in person networking and all you're doing is talking about how great your business is and selling to every single person you meet, you might get some sales, but you're also not really developing relationships, mm -hmm. and you're not really listening, and you're not really, you know, no one's going to want to talk to you the next time you show up because you're just obnoxious yeah yeah and i compare so it to times, a cocktail party like right if you, if you go to a cocktail party and all you do is talk to yourself you're not getting invited back to the party nobody's going to want to talk to you while you're at that particular party so you might as well just leave yeah 
And so many companies approach their social media the same way. Look yeah. at me, look at me. I can make you whatever. And it's like, who cares? I don't really care about what you have to say anymore because yeah. all you're doing is talking about yourself. And so, you know, you could post this on every social network possible, but if they've not taken the point to develop that, you're just kind of speaking to an empty room. Yeah, and I get that. So, I mean, to kind of leave them to that to that uh, strategy, um, if they do come and become like an authority figure and, you know, are helpful to the, whatever group they join, like, how how would they then introduce this post? Or like, is it is it is it okay if they just have it on their own page, uh, you know, and then somebody will find it? Right, because you don't want to promote it. Like you don't want to push it out, uh, like so many people do on social media. Right. It's like, oh my god, I wrote a blog post. This is amazing. Go check it out. Right, and oh. and different networks and different plans have different rules. Right. Yeah. The cool thing these days is uh, everybody's talking about Reddit and how Reddit posts get indexed almost immediately. And so what, what of course happens is this is why we can't have nice things is the SEO community is spamming the crap out of Reddit right now and posting all their junk in the Reddit. And then, so then we're going to burn it and then Google's going to turn the spigot off. And, but Reddit has very specific rules and, and they also have unwritten rules like don't promote yourself on our platform. Reddit will turn on you desperately if you've remotely look at like you're promoting yourself but you know this this forum might have the same rules so then it's kind of a you can talk to the moderators and say at what point is this acceptable how can i do this and still remain in the good graces or do i just need to post it and then you know whatever you know you, so okay. having a transparency and talking about the rules with the people okay. are helpful um but yeah it's i I feel this pain because so many times clients will give me something and say, promote this. And they're getting, they're getting the card ahead. They're doing it all backwards. It's like, don't like give it, let me be part of the panning process to get this together mm -hmm. so that we can get a strategy together to promote it rather than promote this. Yeah. you. I can just post it on random social media sites. If, if that's going to do you no good. Yeah, because people don't know, they, they don't know you, they don't trust you, like, why would they care? And so you can, it's the problem is that sometimes clients just miss that and they'll come to me and just promote this. Yeah, it's already been what done. What do I do with that? Yeah. yeah. And they don't get it because they don't think that there's strategy and thought that needs to go into it. They feel like I have a magic wand. And if I did, I wouldn't need them. Yeah. So... I get that's a frustrating piece of this that I've it's taken years in some cases convincing clients to bring me in early. But some of those clients, same clients, will be like, here, David, we want to promote this. I mean, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I, no one wants to read this. Yeah. No one wants to read like the best, like you're doing it backwards. So, you know, maybe there's a way to say, hey, you know. We, we got exactly zero visits out of this and zero conversions or whatever. Next time, let's do some strategy and plan this next time so that we can be more prepared to promote it and build it in light of promotion rather than, you know, if you just ask me to promote it, like it's not really written that way. It's not really, you know, we're, we're kind of working backwards and we can say, hey, and then then we can maybe turn it around. But Unfortunately, since clients sometimes think it backwards, they say, well, well, you suck because you couldn't promote this and that's why I'm paying you. Well, that's not how it works. And they misunderstand it. And I know. You know yeah, I, know, I feel I feel a little bad because it's, you know, there was a suggestion to do guest posts, but I didn't say sponsored. Uh, but they they took it and decided to to jump onto this package. It's for, you know, a quarter. Um so yeah, I don't, uh, I'll, I'll give them the information that I have and, and hopefully they can make better decisions 